get into what I think are the benefits of a calorie deficit. Now, saying, you know, I'm going to be in a calorie deficit or getting in a calorie deficit is not so easy for some people. So I'll talk about that a little bit also. If you guys like fitness tips and uh, exercise tips for beginners and older adults, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell, get notified when we put up new videos. Um, what what we do here and what I do here is I relate everything through me. You know, I'm not, um, it's, it's not all about, uh, you know, the research and all this stuff. But what, what I try to do is this is tell you, this is what I did and this is what happened. And I've been doing this for 40 years testing things on myself. I'm in the business. I own health clubs. Some of you know that I've been in the fitness industry all my life. Some of you know that if you watch the channel. So let's talk about a calorie deficit. This is something that's also kind of a little pet peeve of mine because people, some fitness influence out there, fitness influencers out there think that this is just really easy. Well, for some people, it's not. Some people have a hard time losing weight. For others, you know, I see even older people that this is rare, but eat whatever they want, have lots of unhealthy habits, and they're thin. And they look pretty fit. They might not be healthy on the inside, but um, obviously they're not in a calorie surplus. So a lot of things can go into trying to get into a, um, a calorie deficit. But let me first talk about the benefits of being in a calorie deficit. And that is, I really believe this. And it, for me, it always, it just has, keeps coming back to this. There's all these things, you know, eat this, eat that, exercise, do this, do this diet. Um, this is good for you. This is not. But I'm pretty sure with my experience, when you're in a deficit, a calorie deficit, I think your body's on the offense. It's, it's. It's being offensive to go attack um, bad cells and it's, it's using body fat. It's burning up fat. When you're in a surplus, your body is getting left behind. It's storing body fat. It's got more energy than it can use and it has to figure out what to do with it. When your body is in a deficit, it can be aggressive and start attacking cells and fat that it doesn't want. Now, you can't always be in a calorie deficit. Why? Because you'll die. And, you know, if your body burns this much and you eat this much, your body after a week or two is going to try to get down here because it's in survival mode. I believe that also. And you can't just keep doing this. You can't just keep eating less. It won't work. So, you can't always be in a calorie deficit. Some days, um, or maybe even for the week, you want to be at balance. So um, you're right at uh, the amount of calories that you need for the week. You're eating for the week. But maybe five days, you're in a deficit and your body can aggressively heal itself. Maybe you stay in a deficit for two weeks or three weeks, but you can't do it forever. Sooner or later, you're going to have to uh, get up to maintenance or even a surplus for a few days. You have to do that. You got to let your body rest. So some of the problems of getting in a calorie deficit is your hormones could be off, especially if you're older. Um, you may need to go on TRT if you're a male or if you're a female. Females also need testosterone. There's a link you can, you guys know, I've said it before, there's a link in there. You can find out more about um, where you can um, get a clinic that will help you with testosterone replacement and the information's there, who to call, phone number, all that. But you also might want to try other clinics talk to your doctor first. And uh, if they're not a specialist, they're not a hormone specialist, um, 
they're probably not going to put as much emphasis on this. So the first thing is your hormones. If your hormones are off, male and female at, at whatever age, it's going to be tough to get into a calorie deficit. So you need to check your hormones. The next thing is your diet. You need to be eating clean, healthy food for you. Uh, whatever type of diet you pick, you guys know that I like to keep my macros in a certain place. So I'm looking at my protein, my fat, and my carbohydrates and essential amino acids and so on. But you can go look at other videos if you want to find out more about what I'm eating. So your diet, eating clean food, your water that you're, you're drinking, you know, being healthy, that comes also, I'd say next, after making sure your hormones are dialed in, eating healthy. But whatever it is, you have to figure out what it is. It's really hard for some people. We all know that person who exercises, or I do, I've been in the business forever, who exercises and eats right, and they just have the toughest time losing weight and losing visceral fat and being healthy. There's something wrong. I, I, I always encourage people who are in that situation to not give up. Keep trying to figure out what the problem is. What is wrong with your body? What it doesn't like so that you can get those modifications and get into a calorie deficit that's reasonable where you're eating uh, a reasonable amount of food, a reasonable amount of calories, and you're still in a deficit because it's not realistic to eat 500, 800 calories and stay there if that's what you have to do to stay in a deficit. There's something else is wrong. Figure out what it is. But the main point I want to make with this video is there is a huge benefit, in my opinion, uh, to being in a calorie deficit and getting rid of the excess fat that your body doesn't want. And look, I know there's fat influencers out there too, um, who, uh, in my opinion, a lot of them have just given up because it's too hard. So they're just going to say, it's okay to be fat. It's healthy to be fat. And I'm as healthy as you know, fat people are not as healthy as fit people. So I'm not bagging on them, I'm not trying to shame them, you know, if you watch a channel, you know, I hate fat shaming. I want to encourage people to find out what's wrong, get in that calorie deficit and get healthier.